What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do <sighs> the how they feel about you for somebody. This is a side message. You might have to make a sacrifice. Okay. Now this is what I'm going to tell you. I feel like you already knew that you had to make a like you were already making a sacrifice, right? Something is gonna change, where you're gonna have to give a little more. You're gonna have to sacrifice a little more. You're gonna be very tempted to say, "Thank you." Don't, please don't. When you get the feeling that you're gonna have to sacrifice more, that's when you're gonna get whatever it is that you're wanting but the sacrifices is needed for whatever reason but just don't give up okay all right that was that came on before that came to me before i pressed libra sun moon rising or venus thank you so much for being here i hope you guys are doing beautifully well today let's see what's going on with your that could be dealing with a Virgo. I don't know why I said that. Did I do Virgo already? No. Or an Aries or a Leo or an Aquarius. But you don't have to be. You can have those in your chart as well. There's a safer option. Okay. Especially if you just got hurt or disappointed. Someone has a crush on you too. But they're not going to say anything. Bottom of the deck is how you feel. Your soul speaks to me. Wow. Wow. Is that how you feel? Wow. Uh, you feel like you could read somebody's mind. You feel like you know how somebody is feeling without them having to say it. And I feel like it's so strong. Like I feel like some of you guys, it's like you, you're used to this. But it's so potent. It's so in your face. Like, you can't ignore it. Like, it's like you just know. You know, and you feel like you guys are connected on another level because of this. That's cute. That came out of nowhere, though. And I feel like it was a surprise for you, too. How close and deep a bond you have with someone truly really is. Hmm. That's nice. All right. First card you have is, you unfroze my heart. Okay. So there's somebody here who... I feel like hasn't been in love in a while, hasn't experienced love in a while and been closed off to it. And I feel like you're the only person who has been able to make them want to love again. I'm not taking all those. What is you unfroze my heart? Two of coins in reverse, the page of cups and the queen of wands. Wow. With the ten of pentacles at the bottom. This person feels like you're very stable here. They want a family situation with you here. Um, this person feels like it's a lot to deal with you in the relationship. They're very attracted to you here with the Queen of Wands. They want you though, and they're listening to their intuition here. So I don't feel like they're gonna they're gonna go anywhere. But it is becoming a little too much here for them. You um, you're still dealing with something else here. Is what I'm getting. The Six of Cups in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Cups is in reverse. That's your past. You're still dealing with something or you're still stuck on something. But you know that this energy is like the energy right here that I'm talking about is very stable and has a lot of potential. But you're still stuck with something. The Tower, the Justice, and the Four of Wands. Yes, Daniel! So here comes the universe being amazing and beautiful like they are. And the universe is, is about to blow something up because you're going to get your karma. You're going to get your good justice. You're going to get your relationship, the marriage, the commitment that you want with the person that you want. And whatever's standing in the way of that is getting blown the F up. Period. Like, that's just it. There's nothing, there's nothing else to say about that. I feel like your soul. I feel like this is per. This is somebody from your soul family. This is somebody who you guys have been together in many lifetimes. That's why your souls. That's why you understand and you can feel this person. You know what I'm saying? 
That's why. And that feeling is only going to increase with this person. And they feel the same about you, by the way. All right, the next card is um, uh, we will be the best anyone has ever seen. Okay, this could be a Leo. You could have that in your chart. Um, this person feels like you guys could be a, a power couple. They believe in the relationship between you and them so much, bro. The Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This person is never letting you go here. They now realize that... Um, I want to clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse. They now realize where their unhappiness is coming from. Um, and it's like they want to, they want to like prove. <sighs> Let me see. Before I keep talking, let me see. What is this Ten of Cups in reverse? The Justice in reverse, Six of Cups, and the ten, the Six of Swords. Blah, 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 the Six of Swords with the world here. So this person could be going through an unfair situation when it comes to their family. Like they could be do, they could be getting the shit end, end of the stick when it comes to a family situation, and um, it's like they are they're taking a painful hit here, and I feel like they're doing it because now they know that it's you. This person is going through a painful ending here, but it needs to happen because of how you feel. Is seven of swords in reverse, three of cups in reverse, and the ten of swords in reverse. You feel like there's people around this energy, this person that does not have good intentions for you, right? Or them. And this is coming out. The ten of swords is in reverse as well. But I feel like I I, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like you also kind of went through a situation like this, Libra, but you have, you're already recovered from yours. You were already chilling. You know what I'm saying? This person is now going through theirs. And I feel like that's why you guys met at the time that you did, because you already went through something similar to what they are experiencing currently. So it's like, you know how to help this person. This is your soul family. And it's like, their soul could be, could have called you in because it's like, they, they they need you right now. I hope that makes sense. Okay. It's like you know exactly what to say and how and how to handle the situation or how to like soothe this person through this situation. The next card you have is no one else but you. This is all the same person. Somebody here is like, there is no one else. Like, stop playing. Like, stop playing. Someone like wants you to know, like, it's just you. Like, I don't want anybody else. What is no one else but you? The Knight of Cups, the Six of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Cups with the Seven of Swords in reverse. <laughs> I see why they're saying that. This person's going to come here um, and make you an offer here that they've been stuck on making. Like, they haven't been making it at all. Um, but they're going to come, okay? Because you're what they want here. We're going to see. I feel like their family situation was keeping them stuck from doing this, but now they're going to come and do it. And I feel like you, you're you finding out all of this family stuff and you're just like, I want to drop this. Like, I want to get over it. Like, because you're finding all this stuff out. You know what I'm saying? And you're just like, no. Um, <sighs> Someone doesn't have faith here that this is going to get off the ground. Could be an Aquarius. Um... I feel like you might say no to whatever they're going to offer you because you're just like, I just got finished through a situation. Like I'm not trying to be held down by negative energy. Um, like you're going to have your guard up all the way. You do want this person. You do care about this person a lot, but this just went left real quick, but I don't feel like you want to put action towards the situation. I feel like Libra, the way that everything played out is what's putting a sour taste in your mouth. <clears throat> the 
but the feelings and how you feel about this person is true. This person is a person from their soul family. That's true. All of that is true. So, you know, how you want to move forward be after that, it's up to you, right? You have free will. But if you didn't like how something came out, if you feel like it was too sneaky or too whatever, then you do what you got to do, boo. All right? All right, Libra, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.